Hi, my name is Carl Broad and I'm the program manager for Games Design HD level four and five and also the creator of Core Games. So what is Core Games? Core Games is a fully licensed publisher that gives learners the experience to work for an actual games company that creates fully functioning games for the sole purpose of distribution, but at the same time educating them for the future employees and clients. So essentially two birds with one stone where you're earning yourself a degree but actually working for an indie games company. Why does this work? Well, with the amount of learners that we get each year is between 15 and 20 and this is a perfect for sort of an indie kind of games company kind of size. So we have our own um, dedicated room, dedicated software and area to develop and make games within Hartford Regional College at our, at our Ware campus. So yeah, one big thing with Core Games is that you can actually get paid for the games that you develop. Obviously, you need to put a lot of effort in, you need to take your learning really, really independently with this and be able to take all the skills that we've taught you and the more effort you put in, the more that it will definitely pay back, literally pay back. Myself and other tutors will have a look through the game, review the game. If you've created this fully fledged game from the project that we've given you, we would be more than happy to distribute your game on uh, Steam, Simmer, Itch, Google Play, and the Apple Store. You can also utilize our Facebook, our Instagram on Core Games to sort of vamp up and advertise your own game to uh, try and achieve more revenue. So, again, it's all about taking your learning into your own hands with this. If you don't like making games, that's perfectly fine. There's still a place for you at Core Games. If you still like, you don't like the program inside, that's fine. We do uh, units and projects in concept art, programming, 2D, 3D modeling, animating, rigging, illustration, VFX artists, GUI artists, um, UX artists, textures, everything. You, we try and cover as much as we can um, across the whole of the games design industry. So it's not all just um, stuck in code. It's more of the creative side of gaming than anything else. Who have we worked with? Well, we've got Rare, Quixel, Unity, and Kitbash 3D. As the core games grows, we are able or lucky enough to work with some uh, amazing, fantastic companies. And we've started off working with um, Unity very early on as they gave us an educator program and um, gave us a lot of um, smaller 2D projects and to build up on for work experience for all of our learners. And we're now at the stage where we're working with Rare, where we're lucky enough to have a couple of our learners move on to an apprenticeship to actually work for Rare Games. And we've also developed some games design proposals for them as well as, as, well as some 3D modeling assets. With Quixel, they have also sort of been really, really nice and given us lots of free assets, mostly in terrain. If you're unaware of Quixel, they create terrain for EA games and for example, um, Star Wars, Last Jedi and stuff like that. They've created terrains um, for Fallen Jedi, Battlefront and everything like that as well. And also uh, Kitbash that create 3D models for both film and games. We get involved in their competitions and they give us lots of free assets as well and lots of work experience to create brand new scenes and uh, game design ideas for them as well. So very creative things that we've got off from the work experience. And uh, once again, everything that you do with these companies and with core games can be written down onto a CV and count as work experience as well. Even more benefits, as I said, you're working with a games company at, but at the same time learning about all about the industry as well. And so there is obviously written parts of the course, but the main part is creating and distributing those games and making assets for them. You're working with dedicated industry professionals. Darren Drebbles worked with us. For myself, I've been in the industry on, on the animation parts. We also have people, other practitioners coming in who have worked um, on specific softwares like Maya, Cinema 4D and Unity as well that come in and do uh, master classes. There's amazing vocational trips like to Iceland, New York, Budapest um, that we've done just this year. Again, the work experience with companies like Unity and uh, Rare, um, you can't go wrong with working with companies like that. Again, adding to your CV. 
we will also uh, gift you a i7 um, i7 core gaming laptop or a top of the range drawing pad depending of what course you have applied for if you've applied for the hd games design uh, we would gift you with the gaming laptop and if you're on the animation hd animation it's a drawing pad so depending on that and obviously at the end you get you gain a level five qualification at the end of the course and we're looking to um, set up our own level six in 2021 so i'll put a load of the links at the bottom of um, this video so if you do want to play some games and um, we've got two that are kind of ready and all playable and we've got more coming out in the end of may two in particular that i've just chosen out at random is castle escape by lauren penny and shelter by sam mason and george davies they um, have all worked really, really hard on creating these 2.5D games. And again, this is something that you will get to do and add your own kind of spark of design and creativity to these games, to these type of um, platform games. So if you're really, really interested, I'll also at the bottom of this video, leave all the details that you need, emails, links, and also links to the games, the most important part. If you really, really want to apply, fantastic it's really really easy to apply there's no UCAS needed just grab a full-time application form from either Broxbourne or Ware campus or you can even apply online it's probably the easiest the the link is also on this slide but I'll also put it below for the HND games design um, website just click on the apply button and it will take you through the whole process again as I've written at the bottom please note to apply for this course you need to be 18 or over and need to have at least a pass or a grade C at your level three or A levels. Cool, I thank you for listening and I hope you apply for HD Games Design and we get to meet me in person. Cool, thank you very much.